welcome to Tech Talk, the Brooks Equipment video series where we are interviewing members of the Brooks Equipment team on all topics ranging from codes and regulation all the way to fire equipment. I'm your host, Jacob Duncan, here today with Sean Kelly to discuss fusible links. Now, first, before we begin, Sean, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, I'm the head of Brooks Marketing. Um, my team and I, we get to work with our engineers, product, and code experts on providing relevant and valuable content for our customers. I'm excited to share some of that information today. Awesome. So my first question, what is a hood system and how does the fusible link operate within that system? Yeah. So in a, the cooking areas of a restaurant, there are grease vapors. Those grease vapors can ignite, causing a fire. Um, the hood system is designed to extinguish that fire, either manually through the use of a pull station or automatically through the fusible links. Okay, so the fusible link triggers the hood system automatically. Now, how does that work? So a fusible link is two pieces of metal that is connected by a softer metal. That softer metal melts when there's a fire, causing the links to separate. This action automatically releases wet chemical to extinguish the fire. At the same time, sources of heat to the appliances are shut off. Without heat running to the appliances, you reduce the possibility of reignition. Okay, so which fusible links do you install as a replacement? So you want to make sure you're installing a fusible link that matches the one you are replacing um, so that the temperature ratings are the same. This ensures that the fusible links separate in case there's a fire, but don't accidentally cause the system to discharge when there's not. Um, one thing to remember, if a different service company performed the replacement prior to you, it's probably not a bad idea to do a temperature reading. Okay, so why are fusible links replaced? And is there any sort of code or regulation requiring them to be changed at any interval? Yeah, what causes the need for replacement is the accumulation of grease. Okay. When grease accumulates on the fusible link, it can insulate it from heat. That's a problem since the links are there to detect heat. Um, the interval is mandated by NFPA to occur every six months while the technician is performing maintenance on the system. Um, this service is recorded on the service tag. Okay, so is the date on the fusible link the same as the date that's recorded on the service tag? That's the date of manufacture. Okay. Um, both the date of manufacture and the date of installation need to be recorded on the service tag. Um, the replacement of the fusible link is done according to the date of installation. So Jake, on one hand, fusible link is a simple technology. It's two pieces of metal that separate at a predetermined temperature range. On the other, it's proven we know it works. All right. Well, that's about all the time we have for today. Sean, thank you for coming in to discuss fusible links. Yeah, thanks, Jake. I really enjoyed it. All right. Stay tuned for our next episode where we will be discussing Class K fire extinguishers. I'm your host, Jacob Duncan. And until next time, this has been Tech Talk.